Well, welcome back to Channel Ron. Today I'm working on a 2011 Chevy Silverado, and the uh, client had a little bit of a spark plug issue. Basically, it blew it out while he was going down the road, so the threads are still in there. So I feel relatively confident that I can do this job. I've done it once before, so this time I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did it. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, you can skip this step if you'd like, but I found last time taking the inner fender well out uh, was a lot easier to get the easy out uh, into the plug hole. Now with the wheel well out, you can see what we're up against. I've been spraying it down with PB Blaster, and hopefully it's been uh, soaking enough so that's going to come out a lot easier. So the next step is to remove some stuff up on top. Looks like all I'm going to need to do is just remove the breather. At least get it out of the way. Yeah, that's enough for me to get down there with a ratchet. Okay, so what I've got is the easy out uh, that I'm going to be using. I'll put a link down below. I've got a half inch socket, 3 8 drive extension. I'm going to stick that in there and I'm going to tunk it with a hammer. Once I do that, I'll pull that out and I'll get up there with a half inch drive ratchet and hopefully I can just pull that out from up on top. So let's try it out. <laughs> Now it felt pretty good. It felt like I could I could feel it as it went in. It, I think it seated really well. So now what's going to happen? We'll go up on the top and hopefully I can uh, I can snap that loose and we should be good to go. All right, let's see if we can get this out of there. Okay, this is not working out as well as I was hoping it to, but I'm going to kind of continue on. Uh, so this may make the channel, may not. Uh, what I'm going to try now is a, a little bit of heat around there. That maybe my uh, uh, my easy out once I heat it up a little bit, maybe the ease out will go in a little bit. Maybe it might free it up. So I'm going to apply a little bit of heat and see what that does. Okay, heat at your own risk. Okay, uh, I'm not having very much luck with the easy out that I had luck with last time, so I'm going to go with the traditional easy out and see if I can get it out that way. Here we go. So when you're uh, trying to pull this out, make sure you're putting some pressure against it as well as you're trying to pull it out. Okay, here we go. And there she is. And there she is. Okay, well there it is. As you can hear, it's running in all six cylinders now. So this is what we ended up with right here. And here's the plug. Obviously it went like this. After 218,000 miles, it ended up like that. So here's the tool that I used. I'll put a link down below on what I use. So I hope this helps you with your trying to remove a busted plug out of a head. And stay tuned for the next one.